What's up guys, Josh here. Welcome to Video Game Vlog Episode 2 of Season 2. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about E3. I haven't made a video in a couple days now, and that's because of E3. I've been so, so glued to my computer just trying to get every game announcement coming out and all that great stuff. And uh, I have some huge news. So, <laughs> E3 is getting me so excited for the future. And not only the future of gaming, but the future of this channel. So as you guys know, you probably all subscribe for World of Warcraft. That's where I started. But as a gamer, I love RPG games. MMORPGs, just normal RPGs like Skyrim, stuff like that. And I think a lot of my fans and my subscribers do too. And E3 is... <laughs> for, for a guy who likes RPG games, E3 has been absolutely amazing. And uh, it's going to change my channel forever guys these new games these new consoles are gonna change my channel forever so let's go over a few of the games that I'm super excited for and a few games that I know for sure will be on this channel so the first one is Diablo 3 I play Diablo 3 I have it on my computer you saw I made a video a while ago of me killing the spider queen stuff like that I really never got into it too deep but it's going to be, re be released on the PlayStation 4 and speaking of the PlayStation 4, their press conference, their everything at E3 just blew Microsoft out of the water. And as of now, I'm buying a PlayStation 4. Um, it's going to be cheaper, and it just looks like the better console at this time. But anyways, Diablo 3 Blizzard announced will be released for PlayStation 4. That's awesome. That's going to be sweet. Um, you know, finally you have a strictly PC uh, RPG moving over to consoles, and I'm super excited for that. And who knows, maybe World of Warcraft will be released for console. You never know. Next up is Destiny. This is Bungie's new game. Crazy RPG, open world role-playing game. Uh, I think it's going to be mostly co-op. I'm not 100% sure like how the multiplayer is going to work with that game. But it, it almost looks like a Halo Skyrim type deal. And it looks awesome. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it and seen it. So that's going to be another huge game on this channel. Um, and then comes Elder Scrolls Online. So Elder Scrolls Online, I've been super excited about this for a while, but I thought it was going to be coming to the PC only. So I, I was like, ah, I don't really know if I want to play another World of Warcraft type game on the PC. I'm really enjoying consoles. But with A3, the huge announcement came out. It will be released for both consoles, Xbox One, PS4. Super excited about that because now I'm going to be able to play games that I would want to play on the computer, but I'm going to be able to play them on my console. And that's what I really want to do is play console games. Don't get me wrong, I love PC gaming, I love a lot of games on the PC, but at the end of the day, I enjoy playing on consoles more than, play, than playing on a computer. And that's basically because of the controller. Um, I mean, that's it. But moving on, moving on. Uh, Killzone is coming out, the new Killzone is coming out for PlayStation 4, and obviously Call of Duty Ghosts is coming out for PlayStation 4. Those are two games I will be covering on this channel if I get the PlayStation 4, but they're not games that I'm like super excited about. You know, Call of Duty, obviously every Call of Duty that comes out is, is going to be good. Um, Killzone, never really played it, but it looks very fun. And um, they're two first-person shooter games that are just going to be like every other first-person shooter games, along with Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 is going to be good as well. But uh, they're just something I'm not too pumped up about. Um, but the two final games I am really pumped up about are Thief, which may be released. Uh, well, actually, three final games. Three final games. Um, we got Watch Dogs, Thief, and Fallout 4. So, all in all, E3, I mean, we've seen a few of these games before E3, Thief, uh, and Watch Dogs being two of those, and Destiny. Um, but a lot of these were brand new to me, brand new to me, and a lot of them are RPGs, and I'm super excited. These new consoles are going to be insane. Like I said in a video before, uh, these new consoles are going to be able to handle games kind of like World of Warcraft, and obviously they will be with uh, Elder Scrolls Online, um, Fallout 4, Watch Dogs, Thief, uh, Diablo 3, you know, a PC game. A lot of people said these, these consoles won't be able to handle PC games. They're not PCs. Well, they're going to be able to handle Diablo 3, so, you know, I'm, I'm super excited. But I just want to make this video real quick for you guys. Um, again, I'm so happy about these announcements at three, E3. The trailers are all getting me so excited. And uh, these new consoles are going to bring a... 
you know, like a refreshment to my channel. It's going to be right back to the RPG side of things and right back to the Josh and uh, the videos you guys love. Super excited about these new consoles and what they're going to do for my channel. And E3 in general has just got me, got me hyped. I'm hyped. <laughs> but uh, my name is Josh. Some of you may know me as iWarcraft. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.